She's a magnificent. The queen. The queen. On my way to, well, I'm in Lion Gate Studio. Oh. Okay. Jesus. On the third, on the roof of this thing. And look. He said the pork man. Okay, we have Lionsgate Studios in Yonkers. This must be where they Okay. I'm at Lionsgate Studios. That's where I will be taping in a minute. Mm -hmm. Got a nice patio out here. Hmm. A nice comfortable studio. They got a Lionsgate sign. This is how it goes. This is how they're still building it. Okay, I'm coming right behind you. They're still building it. Hey y'all, I wanted to say something today. Um, God has a plan for all of us. You gotta recognize what your plan is and get the work. God will show you, he will reveal it to you, but it's up to us to do the work. And I say all that because I see the hate, I see a lot of bullshit. Um, <laughs> you got people that be on the gram, oh we for our community, we this, we that. It'd be a lot of BS. And I'm just going, I listen, I'ma say what it is. I'ma say what I see. Because the ones who you think that should be supporting you don't. And this is another thing. And that's okay. Another thing is, don't ever wait for anyone to validate your progress or what you're doing. People think that just because people don't validate what they're doing, that it's not what you should be doing. It's bullshit. If you're passionate about it and you feel like that's your purpose, do it. Listen, you are being applauded by the most high for doing what you need to do. Do not wait on nobody to say, good job, job well done. No, if you feel in your heart that that's what you're doing, then keep on doing it. God is the best planner. God has a plan for you. He will show you your purpose, but it's up to you to recognize what that purpose is and just do it. It's amazing how when people rally around you, when they kind of first see you doing something, and then when to them, it's big, you know, everything sometimes look bigger than what it is, and that's okay. But when it is like that, it's a gift and a curse because then the appreciation for what you're doing or those that seemed happy for you you kind you 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 kind of see that dwindling away and that's okay that's okay but trust and believe they still watching they still paying attention so 
keep doing what you're doing because me <laughs> I ain't letting nobody stop T from doing whatever she want to do and I'm just going to do me without needing that's the point that's the word I don't need validation from the streets or nobody there are those that be like yo sis I'm happy for you do what you do I got people who I never met saying damn sis I see what you're doing keep up the good work those are the compliments you would want from those who seen you from start from the bottom or the ground up but that's okay that's okay they still around booing from the sidelines or mad like what are you mad about what you feeling some way about it's not that serious you know especially when a person works hard for what they doing why are you mad because somebody grinding or worked hard or started from the bottom without your help so you can't get mad because you didn't help this person get anywhere The ones that be the maddest is like, what are you mad? I can see if I owed you something. I can see if somebody owed you something, but they don't, you know? And it's just, um, it's crazy. It's amazing. It's really, it's kind of disheartening and sad that people will feel away because someone is succeeding in something, you know? Not when you know somebody worked hard. Now, for those that you know skim, scammed, like they doing out here, <laughs> faking, you know, to get it. Okay, fine. You know, I heard somebody say, somebody said on my, oh, <laughs> what they said on my page? Oh, you wasn't getting it like that. My man was getting it like that. I took over what he was getting like that. Um, I ain't never been broke. Back then, I got what I got. Um, I never been a bum, never been fucked up, never been homeless. Thank God. All praise to God. All thanks to God. Always was fly. Always. Always had a man that was doing it. Y'all might want to say, oh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. If y'all see what I see right now, ooh, oh, okay, okay. All right. Anyway, always been fly, always did tea. <laughs> Some of the stuff I didn't even talk about the book. I didn't talk about me being in Baltimore. I didn't talk about me driving down to Greensboro, North Carolina. There's a whole lot of stuff I never talked about because I would have had to not necessarily speak on the person or people that I was with because I didn't have to mention their names, but it was so much to my story. It's a lot of stuff that didn't make the book, didn't make the documentary, didn't make BET. Uh, yeah, it just didn't make it. But I got those stories to tell. I was in Baltimore in 93. That's the first time I seen a whole abandoned project. That's the first time I saw 15 and 16 year olds on heroin. And I couldn't believe it, gnawing out. And it's a shame that Baltimore in 2002 looks the same as it did in 93, 94. So that's all I really wanted to say on that. And um, like I said, you know what I'm saying? People gotta stop the hate, stop the hate concentrate more on what you can do as far as your legacy because that's what I'm doing I'm leaving a legacy behind <laughs> no doubt about it you know books don't expire um whatever I've done for TV will forever be there you know and it is what it is and I'm continuing on that journey so I suggest haters y'all do the same thing get that journey together get that legacy together leave some for your kids don't let your legacy be I was a hater <laughs> Yo, peace.
Hey, this is your girl, Miss T, a.k.a. Harlem Heron. Thank you for tuning in to Straight Talk with Mix T. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love to hear your feedback, and I love talking back to y'all. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know when I post new videos. But again, thank y'all so much. I love talking to you guys. Straight Talk with Miss T.